Support. He has it from Elmas Mari. Low pass, Elmas Mari first touch towards goal. Good defending. Flood with some contact. Headed clearance from Dekel Keenan. That shot is going to sky wide, but a good idea that time from Ryan Flood. Quinn down the line looking for Ryan Flood. Drops that right perfectly for Flood. This coming in and taken. Now Flood. He whips this in, nearly falls, and Sanchez just did enough. It comes out nicely to him. It's a great first touch to set it up. You can see what he's trying to do, trying to bend that ball into that far post. Just gets it all wrong a bit. Flood sliding in, that hits the referee. I think play will just continue. Barry had a con underneath his feet. Flood showing his skill to clear this away. For the MLS side, here's Gaines again. And the overlap, Chrysostomo isn't touched. Defensive half. You do not want to give this Phoenix Rising team any chance. Oh, he's picking up really dangerous position. He's curled into a dangerous area. And it's a good idea here from Flood. He sees that back post run of Kalistri. Just hits it a little too hard. But it's a good idea. Now Ryan Flood. Flood. Rodriguez change understanding Brilliant move there from flood sends his defender to the ground <laughs> the result very very able to find the outlet pass in Ryan flood He's in space Flood curling it in there's the touch and it's a double save by Javi Olme Richmond Antwi must have thought and must have fancied himself to get on the end of this Ryan flood puts a beautiful ball in First effort's good, and the second one, he thinks he's going to beat the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper responds nice and quickly and bravely. Play this short. Flipped in by Kalistri. Now Flood will take one on. It's punched away as far as Kalistri, and then he sends it out of play. I think he's going to have to check his hands after this game, Alex Rando. He's had Bounces it over for Ryan Flood. Flood cuts in field, now gets back to the outside. <laughs> Here's Flood, curling it in, chased it, heads it down. And got the header, just couldn't direct it. Lovely ball in from Ryan Flood. Got to do a bit better there, Chase. You got to at least make... He was shaking a few mm. other moments early on, but not broken. Chased in. Now Marie. Epps for Quinn. Ryan Flood. Flood! It's tipped over the bar. Mizell with the save. I want to talk about left foot for all three players Sejas, Quinn, and Flood. It's a really good save from distance, too, because Cody Mizell has actually started to rotate off his line, expecting that initial ball in whipped in instead gets caught off a little bit but good recovery it's quinn it's sejas but it's ryan flood as well and the ball movement by phoenix rising wanting to get it back lets it run through for preston denied by flood across the body looked like there was going to be a combination with he and portillo portillo lets it run and he thought he was going to grab it instead that half stutter right there allows flood to come back across so everything comes back to the outside, which plays right into Rising's hand with the five back we just talked about. Flood. Rodriguez, the header is just all the minutes of stoppage time. We should go well past that. Preston. Blocked out of play by Flood, and it's a goal kick. So more. And um peaking maybe a bit too early flood coming in he likes to hit this oh. and it's off the crossbar <laughs> oh my that would have been a screaming goal what a strike that was <laughs> from a young ryan flood absolutely brilliant i mean he won the penalty earlier with a great run look at this left foot strike it is flying inches away from being one of the goals of the season and then the recovery watch ryan flood
Their money's on Ryan Flood there. Preston. Trying to turn the corner, and Flood shuts that down. Your body on. Here we go, here we go, Big center back, Joey Farrell, who got forward. Get the, the first shot on top. That doesn't get through. Every time Phoenix has had an opportunity. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, I'm sure Johnny's very happy to be on the pitch. Good ball ahead for Perez. Players colliding again down the middle of the park. Perez tries to cut it on back. Flood able to win. Flood sends this in. Down for Darnell King. The chance is still there. And now it leads the break. Finds Ryan Flood. The cross sent in. It was a dangerous one. Talked about those ebbs and flows with the form this year for El Paso. This might help them back into an upward trajectory. And Ryan Flood brings it back! Open the floodgates! Phoenix rising! Right back in it! Moments after conceding, it's his first pro goal! That's a fabulous strike from Ryan Flood. As he lines up, I'm thinking, bend it in, try and find someone in the middle. He sticks it right in the top corner. Final minute of play. We'll see if we get any stoppage time. Or if Michael Radchuk is ready to blow. They have got, they're possessing the ball. That's... Diara does very well to elude a defender. This is very good passing. Two minutes of stoppage time. Flood pushes this one in. Repento that is why this season has been the way it's been for for feet. As this match goes on, another good ball, well timed. The ball pinballs around the back, and finally Trey Muse is able to handle it. But that was a really good opportunity in the back. This is a terrific ball in, and Hurst, unfortunately for him more makeshift at this point in time if you wanted to change into a three for Phoenix you have the ability with Ryan Flood and Darn two early ball across Flood was there to poke it away to come closer so you can yell at me even more no do we need a middle ground meet me halfway You're right at the borderline that's where <laughs> I want to be long over the top Sparrow is there the least three for Ryan Flood the cross towards the near post Hurst at the midway point. Phoenix Rising needed to decide what they wanted to do. Are you going to stay the course and absorb this much pressure and then try and spring it the other way? Or are you going to change now that clear this out? Flood going to ground and winning. Watch the press coming from Phoenix Rising. Great job working back by Ryan Flood. And then how about a little ticky tack? A beautiful header by Sejas. Recogn Long down the wing, Moar plucks it down, Moar! You say Here's Flood, curling it in! Inside the box tonight, as he's moved from the left wing back into the number nine role, centrally located. A couple of times they've been able to get him on the end of it. The bounce is really difficult to judge here. He's also wedged it. Really strong with their ball control midfielders. Flood wins that header. But Ryan Flood has been amazing on this left-hand side. Little two-man game down into the corner. They don't catch that near post flick. That's a rising staple. And Ryan Flood just unleashes from about 25 yards out. Trey Muse called arms, answers it, but the deflection right down the middle. And Johnny Baccaro, watch the quality, and then play through him much improved here. Antley couldn't corral. Deflected toward the back post. Continues. That's...
what the expectations were for this team offensively. And I said they were going to have to evolve, Josh, because teams are willing to sit back. You know, they know they don't have to. Go, come here, go, go. The clock gets there first. The car weaving in and out, trying to get back. Blood looking to play out from this corner. Bache. Shoved off the ball there by Flood. Just play this down the line. Good ball in from Flood. Really tough test for the defenders, the young defenders of Las Vegas Lights. It's flicked along. It's Ryan Flood on the ball. <laughs> Trying to turn around the corner to the end line. Deflected ball out for a corner kick. And Ryan Flood, the youngster from right here in the Phoenix area, getting it done at left back. Yeah, Rick Shantz loves it as well. <laughs> There's Ryan Flood going directly to Moir, right up the line. Moir needs to be a right footer, uses his left foot to just sweep this one point. Oh, look at the door. Here he is, space. finding some space. Asante up ahead. Quinn will take this himself. Oh, look at the door. Here he is. Just reading the play. In the 79th minute, Finish you just couldn't deliver that final ball. Dadashov. Metcalf there to knock it away. He rolls. And Coach Rick Sean saying, well, he doesn't have a particular favorite, and this is it. And then Battle at Adams is waiting for one of them to prove it the best. Floods cross making the same difference. And that is a positive difference for San Diego. Phoenix now trying to respond. Again, San Diego look at them all in their sort of final third of the pitch. Flood sends this in out of Wally. So he missed last week, and here's Barry again. Such a danger, Barry. He's a, he's a big guy. So he can get on the end of headers. Unfortunately, they just gave him. Scored or assisted in each and every game so far this year. Here comes Phoenix through Flood. Goalkeeper who's got the stats for the most saves is generally playing behind a poor defense. So that's been the problem for San Diego. They've allowed way too much until tonight. There goes Flood. It's Tacoma who comes in here next week. Take on Phoenix. Rodriguez, good service again. Top of the box on the volley. Still on the ball. And now Flood steps in. Flood using his body to win the big Caro stand over this. It'll be Flood to put his left foot through this one. Good service. Here for Chris Little, who went to Colorado as an assistant coach. Whoever's been with this organization is Asante takes this on. Oh. Double air. Tumbling. He, take pr he takes pride in building that culture. He has implemented it very well here in his time in Phoenix. As Flood tries to knock this forward. Asante's in behind. Heavy first touch. Another look at that pass from Flood. Just picking one out. Oh, that is a fantastic pass. Over, over that distance. Here's Flood. Good ball to find the space on the outside. Them done if necessary. Confidence is there, as it should be. This flicked along and forcing Muse into a save. Oh, nice. Oh. Press the At the back, but then it's turned over. A chance by Judd, a challenge in the box. Corner kick. Cross from Flood, it's a dangerous one. In and, him and, and as soon as Judd made his run, he just stepped up. Absolutely brilliant. Here is Flood on the overlap. Patience from Flood, picking out his pass. Headed back post, chance here. As soon as you get the ball, here we go, turnover already.
I guess if you're ever going to learn to be a professional footballer, you may as well learn the hard way, but this is a big test now for Los Dos. Phoenix pushing Asante. Top. Quinn has Ryan Flood on the overlap. Good hesitation from Flood. You see the speed. Two runners in the box. Down to Shaw on Asante. Flood into Egbo. And it's a great ball in here by Flood. He puts it straight on a platter. And Egbo, his first touch just bounces up on him. Indecisive from Flood. Now tries that long throw. Flicked on. Players. The Didier Drogba, the Sean Wright Phillips of the world. Flood pings one across back post. A little bit too slow. Getting there was King at the backside. Rather Sadie. Flood hobbled a little bit. After a big chunk of grass came up on the cross. And he's been active this whole first half, getting at players, putting dangerous balls in. You see a great move there. And what a ball that was. Maybe he's trying to shoot it, but it's just a dangerous teasing ball across that six. And if you're king, you, you want to be able to get on the end of that crash that. Um, for four and a half more minutes to keep all three here. Flood turns, strikes it just wide. Wow, what a good strike that was. <laughs> he hit that beautifully, it absolutely flew. Not quite sure how wide it was, because we haven't got that angle yet, but he's connected, fantastic. Have a look, turns in one go. What? That just flies past. And I'm assuming it was, it was only a, a yard or so wide of that far post. Points was of, of massive value to them, and they're so close to getting those three points. Flood sends it in. Backside, Sadie! The equalizer! Yeah, we said bring on somebody different, Prince Sadie. It's just somebody in a different position, somebody quick to spot the opportunity. And if you want to win over the faithful here at Wild Horse Pass, now is the time to score for Prince Sadie. And he's delivered. Wow, what an ending. And they've done it before. They did it against San Diego Loyal in the dying moments. And here they are, what is this, 96th, 97th minute, Ryan Flood with the, the cross and Prince Sadie, great stretch, good finish, level terms 1-1, one, one. so tough for Orange County. The crowd at the referee know their thoughts. <laughs> Las Vegas, so they are always rearing and ready to go, it seems, against this light side. Another ball curled in, this one pushed aside by on the end of a, a massive beating and the way to stop that is to defend tight back of that last opportunity for Phoenix service by flood that's a good header into the ground from Kalistri and uh, next wrecked uh, I guess you can say movement to the first team but I must admit if I got on the bus after winning 4-3 away from home and my coach was disappointed I'd be like <laughs> really but but when you understand what he wants which is to go all the way and win the championship then then you understand what he's looking for here's flood Fires this across. Rando got two hands behind it. Here's Flood. Loves it on that left foot. Flood! Saved! Remember the first one snuck through Rando like that. That one not quite. Looks Rando, but it did sort of sneak away from his hands under his bodies. This is the earlier. This is Ryan Flood's effort have a look here Alex Rando drop it goes under his body and he turns around and gets it so it's a save um, it's a save that probably gave his manager a heart attack for a moment but okay. now here's flood curling one in bouncing through for Kali Street we'll put it back into the middle big save Rando Bacaro's there. for Phoenix the next opportunity attitude up so that when he gets to the playoffs he doesn't have to reason in and if he plays well then maybe he stays uh, has his shot blocked sacramento has been a second half team this year seven of the nine goals they've scored on the season have come in the second four sacramento republic and hadn't been as physical and tried playing a bit more soccer blood picks his head up that drops in, Asante gets a touch to it. See Baker Whiting. Reagan. Putting a lot of faith in the attacking player to keep you safe. Ryan Flood reaches that ball, cuts it back. Asante spins, 
and it's blocked by Cheney Stadium. Ryan Flood went for the ball. Flood. And another towering header for a Flood. More space for a cross. That one not cleared away from Quinn. It's probably by a long shot. And you're likely to get absolutely roasted, which is what's happening now. Here's Flood. Early ball across. Started. <laughs> Cutting it back for Duke, and Duke is denied by a diving save by Ben Lunt. Or was that blocked Ooh. off the line actually before it got to Lunt? What a play. Thing is, I don't care right now in preseason about whether that ball went in the back of the net or not. What I care about was this interchange and the way that Sporting created this opportunity because that is what you can replicate throughout the season because that was excellent. Players. And Caden Pierre on the right back spot. So much potential. Out of that, right? Yeah. Do you think, though, referee, there was some kind goal for Sporting KC? Sweat clipping it in. Dangerous ball there, headed away by Flood. All the way back. Ryan Flood. Tempe, Arizona native, gets it forward immediately. Full season saves. That's great dribbling from Weber. Outlet to Trejo. Good work sliding over to cut out the pass by Ryan Flood of Phoenix. Glimmer Flar wins this back. Dadashov. Flood goes down. Appeal for penalty. Yes. The referee points to the spot. A spot kick up coming for Phoenix. It's Flood! Giant rebound, put back in by Vaccaro!